What is going on guys? It's Emil here today and I am very, very excited to bring you this episode of Cart Road to Nines. Now, in case you couldn't tell by the title, we are I am running a pack called CTGP Classic and this is a worldwide happening on it. Now, in case you guys don't know what this pack is, this is a collection of tracks ranging from CTGP 1.03.1000 and lower. So honestly, this is including a lot of tracks that I used to play a lot like at the beginning of like my custom track career. And obviously, I'm sure you guys know this track. Oh god. Okay, I'm alive somehow. Now, another thing I should tell you guys about this is that there's actually a Discord server where people have been gathering worldwide and all that stuff like that. And I'll leave a link to that in the description as well as a download to this. This is basically a revolution pack, so it's pretty easy to load if you have revolution installed. Otherwise, you can just join the server and there should be a guide there on how to get revolution and all that set up along with this pack. But either way, first track we're playing is actually a track that got removed from CTGP not too long ago, which is Shadow's version of GBA Rainbow Road. Now personally, this is one of those tracks that I think I could do without, but... Hey, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining though because I'm still decent at this track. That's really what matters But I got to make sure I don't lose to too many people, you know, because that could be a problem if I do And I'm just gonna use a shroom here. Oh Gosh, oh that Rosalina. I'm gonna go around to avoid him. I Actually don't know how I'm in third in all this. I, I, I thought I would be in a much lower spot But hey, I'm not complaining if I'm chilling in third. Oh Gosh, okay all right, looks like people are hitting stuff, so I think I should be able to... Wow, they just TS'd 4-5. Are they... I think they're getting... Yeah, they're getting respawned ahead. Uh, that's a problem. <laughs> I think they're gonna be able to pass because of that, unless I resize now. Okay, well, there we go. That, that works. I actually don't know how to drive this part properly. I feel like I'm doing it right by doing that type of snake, but it's okay. Oh, and another thing you guys have probably noticed, uh, I don't have my character textures on, but I have my custom music. Well, that's because, to be honest, I was a little bit lazy to move all my My Stuff files. Oh, no, I got powered off. What? Oh, I didn't think I would get powered off there. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's so upsetting, dude. It's okay. It's okay. Just got to be able to make this. Oh, gosh. Okay, this isn't looking like a very good start, which isn't a problem, especially on a track like this. What? Uh, wow, I could have gotten that box. Dang. Oh, this is going to be a huge loss for me. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Ah, uh, nope. We're definitely going to lose a lot here. No, it's so upsetting. I need to get at him here. No. I'm landing on a Nana Amitai. Yeah. Wait. Sixth? I can sell. That's salvageable. That, that works. Okay, sixth place. Not too bad. I don't think I should lose too much VR for that. Which is honestly not a problem at all, but you know, it would be nice to gain. Okay, only minus 71. We're still in at 9400. Wow, DC got owned. I'm not sure if he DC'd or if he just genuinely got owned, but you know what? I guess we'll note that for next time on that track, you know, just don't don't get target powered. Yeah, that's probably going to be easier said than done. <laughs> All right, so one thing I'll try to be careful of since uh, this is an older version of CTGP, I'm sure not a lot of people are familiar with what all these tracks are, but it's, you know, surprisingly, we're getting like quite a lot of familiar tracks right now. So this is actually the old version of Spike Desert, and I'm sure you guys know that track is currently in CTGP, and I'm kind of, this track was like kind of weird in the first version, honestly. You know, it's just so much more open. There's just so much more space to move and everything like that. So I can understand why this desperately needed an update. But, you know, honestly, this still isn't that bad of a track. It's pretty drivable. There's not too much wrong with it. I just got to make sure I know what I'm doing. And I don't remember what exactly to do here. Oh, right. That was way weirder in this version because it's not like a slope. I mean, I prefer a slope by far. That's way easier to navigate. Okay, wow, that's actually really good for me. That should be trickable. Nice. Second place is actually really good to hold on to. And unlike the, the current version of Spike Desert, this version isn't nearly as much of a luck track as it is now. I actually wonder if that that red's going to reach. Okay, now it's definitely going to reach. Oh, who dodged? I actually don't know who this is. I feel like it's Signal, since Signal's actually someone who's, you know, one of my good friends. 
And okay, a shroom. I don't know where to use this because oh my gosh I kind of just got to do that. Oh my signal. I think that's signal. I actually don't know who it is if I'm being completely honest with you Oh gosh. Oh That's an issue Okay, I didn't know that could happen But hey as long as we're maintaining a good spot. That's what matters. Uh, okay, my sneaking is very sloppy right now. Well, not like it matters anyway, because triple shells is going to protect me throughout this entire first part. And if I maintain third, I should be gaining VR no matter what. So that's just what I'm more concerned about than anything. Nice, made that red go in the water. Okay, I was honestly going to try to backspan people there, but that's fine too. I don't know how bad that shock is going to be for me. Ah, no box. That's really bad. Now, hopefully I don't get... I'm probably running into that. Oh, no. Okay, everyone's right here. That's really bad for me. All right, got that. Oh, no. I'm getting passed by a lot of people. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe set, maybe fifth. Oh my, I don't know what, whoa. No, wow. Yeah, I forgot to say the position tracker actually shows after the race as well. So I'm able to see what spot I got almost immediately after. Oh my gosh, another minus 70. Oh, that's rough, 93.30. You know, ideally I, I wanna gain some VR back, but honestly the chances of that are looking kind of low right now. 12 race, 12 races for the next one, really good stuff. Hopefully I can get a higher spot on some of the other tracks. You know, it all comes down to my luck really and some skill, but you know what? I think I think I can do this Well continuing on the theme of very wide open tracks now we have bouncy farm and Honestly, I'll have to say this is probably one of my favorite tracks from all of 1.02 Just because of how fun it is to drive it and I'm gonna wait here Honestly, I'm gonna try to get a box in the lower spot because there's actually a lot of shortcuts here Oh, that's the one item I didn't want. That's all right, though. But there's like a huge grass cut there. You can kind of skip that entire hill section. And, you know, I don't really know what else to say about this track. There's just so much space to do so much. Like, snaking is like one of the easiest things to do here. Now, I'm going to build now, honestly. I mean, the chances of someone spamming it at 30 are just unbelievably low. Oh, is this build going to go left? Oh, thank God. Yeah, going left is a little bit faster, I think. I'd like to imagine at least, especially when I get a mini turbo out like that. I'm going to try to fib him. Nope. Oh gosh. Snaking here is a little bit difficult. I'm getting blued. Wow. That's actually rough. I didn't think I'd be getting blued on this, on this track. Cause you know, this is just, just so much better for bikes. Okay. Now this chain chomp here is really scary. I'll be real. Yup, two people down. Yup, I knew it. I had a feeling people would be failing to that. Ah, oh, no. Dang, I really wanted to hold that shipment first for a while. But that's all right. As long as I can, you know, maintain my spot up here. This next part of the track is really where no one can really pass up other people. And that's just this really cool mushroom section. Unironically better than most mushroom sections today. Because it's really hard to fall off here. Like, even if you trick on the ramp. Oh, I think I am going to fall off, though. Never mind. I forgot. Yeah, there's a lot of fail saves here. So, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to fall off here. Uh, am I going to go over the last mushroom? Nice. If I can hold on first, that'll be really good for me. Now, what I'm going to try to do here, just going to charge a super mini turbo. Should be able to go over this. Nice. And I should be able to do that. Good. It's looking good. It's looking good. I don't want to drop this because I'm probably going to fail if I do. Nope. Nope. Zach. Zach. Nice. Should be locking in first place. Let's go, baby. Nice. Woo. That is honestly amazing. That's honestly amazing. I can't believe I got first on that. It's so fitting to get first on one of my favorite tracks of all time. How much are we going to gain for that, though? Gaining 95. So we're just barely back in 9,400 now. Oh, my gosh. That track is honestly so fun to drive. Like, I cannot get over how fun that is. Like, I time trialed it way back, but it's still just as fun to drive, in my opinion. Oh, man. I want to keep up this winning streak right now. Or maybe start a winning streak. <laughs> we'll see. 
Oh, baby, Rocky Cliff. Okay, this is another really good classic from way back then. I'm probably going to say that about all these tracks. But one fun fact I will tell you guys about this track that doesn't seem to be the case in this mod. At the very beginning of 1.03, this actually was in the pack. Oh, my. I'm going back. I don't care how much time I lose for that. I am 100% going to go back. Oh, gosh. I'm just going to back spam that. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I kind of wanted to just fool around there. Okay, I would like a better item, though. Oh, gosh. Okay. That was really close. Now, since I have a golden, I'll actually be able to show you guys a really cool shortcut if a shock doesn't happen before then. And me saying that is probably going to make a shock happen very soon, right? Because that's just how my luck usually goes. So what you guys can actually do, if I can do this right, is go up here. And I, there should be a giant air, oh, not a giant air pocket, but a slight air pocket there. Now I should be in third because of this. Nice. I think, yep, really good stuff. I'm just in third now. Now, whether I'll be able to keep this, that's a completely different question. Oh gosh. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Okay, all right, now I'm getting scared. Okay. I feel like I'm risking a TC if I just run into any boxes. Oh my gosh, all this back spam. I just have to avoid it like so much. Nice, good, a blue shell coming in. Someone's gonna be off the track there. I don't know how, how much I'm gonna be able to catch everyone. If I resize here, maybe. Nice. Man, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare pass that to me. Wait, how am I in first? How am I in first? Go, 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 go. Come on, yes. We got first again, what? What did he do? What did he do? How did he fail? How did he fail that? I'm so lost. Guys, guys, 9.5K. What? That was insane. I don't even know what just happened at the end there. 9.5k come on dude come on dude this is this is going amazing we got this i we got this this is so good this is going so well right now oh my gosh this is so much fun dude this is so much fun dude we are somehow getting all of the really good track picks right now i see mountains is another really good track now I, there might be some bias in that since this track is actually pretty good for mock bike and you know I've been a mock bike main the entire time I've been a CT player. But you know that has nothing to do with it honestly. That's just me being me. And but I will admit I am very I am very familiar with this track and I gotta remember how to do this part. I think I should just be good doing that. Yep, thought so. I actually managed to outline Phil up there. Oh there's a position bug here. Okay, it doesn't matter though, because I just got a pow. Yeah, okay. Oh, that actually affected him. Nice. Still in second though. As long as I don't get back here, I should be able to hold on to it. But I'll admit, this track is kind of difficult to avoid items on, since, you know, all the areas are just so narrow. You don't have a lot of room to move or- Oh my gosh, no you don't. Nice. Okay, the only reason I- Okay, I'll, I'll, that was kind of dumb, I'll admit. But the only reason I backspammed him is because I just figured there was no chance I was going to hit Philip, Especially with all these corners. Like, if that makes sense. I, I assume that makes sense. Because it does make a decent amount of sense. Now, I think this is just the fastest way of doing that. And I'm kind of breaking away from people a decent amount. Box in six. Hopefully not a thundercloud. Oh, he got triple reds from that. Oh, a mega. Let's go. Now, I don't know where anyone would use it, though. And I don't even know if anyone has it. That's the other problem. A mega in second, though. That's a... Oh, he's getting blued. Oh, no, you don't, buddy. No, you don't. Mm -mm. A mega in first. I have a mega in first. Yeah, th I guess this is, like, one of the major problems of old CTs. In a lot of instances, you get position tracking bugs like this. And that's why you can get really strange scenarios. Kind of like holding a mega in first. But I don't care. This is working in my advantage. It, obviously, if it didn't work in my advantage, then it'd be a problem. But as long as it works in my advantage, we're all good. There's nothing to worry about here. And very surprisingly, there hasn't been a shock. So what I'm just going to do once I get up this ramp here. Well, it looks like I have to use it anyway. Are we going to get a BAM shock dodge in first place? Are we going to get a shock dodge? Not looking like it. So 
That should be another first place coming home right now. Oh my goodness, we are tearing this room up right now. Oh my goodness, I, I can't believe how well that went. You know, I guess it was really lucky that, um, that Philip got blued there. I don't think I would have been able to do nearly as well if Philip didn't get blued, but I think I had second guaranteed no matter what. Now we just gotta see how much are we going to gain for that. We're gaining 86 for that. 9604. We are making a climb right now, guys. We are actually making such a huge climb right now. I really hope, I really, really hope this can we can keep this up. That would be so good. That would be amazing. I just want to keep playing these tracks, man. This is just endless fun for me. I, ha I I am so happy we're playing this. Guys, allow me to introduce you to one of the most infamous karting tracks of all time. This is Space Road, a very old track from, I don't know, 2009, 2010, one of those. It is just really, really old, and it still holds up, honestly. I At least I think it holds up. Oh, no, that's bad. Uh, wow, I'm off. <laughs> okay, well, if I remember correctly, this is a really bad respawn. Okay, I was partially right, but that's not nearly as bad as I expected. Now, I think if I trick off of that, I actually get a really bad, you know, really bad height. But this is fine. Now, hopefully people aren't going to go for the respawn shortcuts that are in this track. There are a few of them, but they aren't too effective. Now, th yeah, these ramps are just, oh my gosh, so such big ramps. Someone failed, it looks like. I just got to figure out a way to get myself back up there. Because there is just... There is no room for bikes to move around very much. Uh, this part's going to be kind of difficult. I think I'm going to be off the track. Never mind. Wow, barely lived. Nice, got a star. Now, I don't know if anyone's going to shock anytime soon. So maybe I could try chaining this to get myself up there. The only problem with, you know, the NB, this being a cart track is that obviously it's going to be kind of difficult to catch up. Maybe someone can... Okay, that was embarrassing. I meant to- Oh, we got a dodge! Let's go, dude! Starting the comeback. Let's go! Woo! Alright, well, that was very unexpected for sure. But hey, as long as we're starting a comeback on this, I'm fine. I just gotta make sure I can stay in these top spots. Because I think anything below, like, third or fourth is probably gonna lose me a decent amount of VR. Oh, nope. I'm just gonna go tighter than that. <laughs> oh, you thought you could hit me. No. Th this is, like, this is honestly such a vibe. Okay, we're making it into third. Nice. Going so good right now. And yeah, I'm fine risking a TC. I don't mind. Okay, good. Got a red. I probably shouldn't have dragged that. <gasps> I saw that flying. I was like, wait, no, there's no way that's hitting anyone. I just see Philip just fly right into that. Oh my gosh. That was too good. Now, can I do this twice in a row, maybe? I think I have to delay trick that. Yeah, I think that's how I do it. Oh, that was cute. That was a cute fib attempt, I'll admit. That, that was that was good. I, I won't discredit that at all. That was actually a pretty solid attempt. Is that a blue going through the air? No, it's just a bill. Aw, I thought I saw a blue. Looks like the item box sets were changed up a little bit on this version of the track. And honestly, I'm not complaining about that. Fine with that, because that way, the sets, at least on the pre on like older versions of this, was just were just really weird. Okay, a blue shell going in the air. I'm gonna try something here, guys. Oh, I was about to throw the bomb forward, dude. Wow, that's uh, all right. I should be getting an item here at least. Okay, nice. Got a shroom. No. Why are you trying to backspam me, dude? You're not going to get me. Don't even think about it, dude. Mm -mm. Now, I normally I would shroom here to go over the ramp, but I don't think there's any point in doing that. Looks like this guy figured out how to do that part properly. And I don't know if he's going to backspam me. That's the only problem I'm like dealing with right now. Uh, I really wanted a bomb again. I want to try bombing this guy, but I don't think I'm going to be able to anytime soon. It would have been so funny if he... Oh, wait. Someone died here. Wait, what happened to top two? Wait, this is such a close top four now. Hold on. This is way too close for comfort. Uh, that might be too far. It's not. Wait, all of top three failed. Oh, my gosh. Come on, guys. This is insane. Yeah, this, is, this just shows how much you had to learn custom tracks back in the day. Got him, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Can Cart Mom take this race home as well? Can Cart Mom take this one home? I will be beyond surprised if I can. But there is still so much of the track left. Like, I can't be sure of anything until I actually make it. 
Oh, uh, one more item box up for someone to pull a blue. I really hope it doesn't happen. I'm not seeing one. I'm seeing a banana coming. Just a little bit more to go. One more mini turbo. Let's go, baby. Woo! I, 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 I apologize for getting just really hyper right now, but that was actually such an insane ending. I can't believe all of top spots failed. Make it a climb 96 88. This is unbelievable. I I honestly feel like I'm mainly getting an advantage just because I know these tracks so well. But believe me, I will always remember these tracks. Like these, this is just how I started off custom tracks and it's really fun to get back to the to my roots. Okay. I know what you guys are probably thinking. First of all, yes. This is the old version of Kanoko Cave. Now, what you're probably not expecting is that this is probably one of the only times, if not the only time on this series where I will not complain about this track. Why? Because this is just the good version of Kanoko Cave. I don't care how broken it might be. This, this version is unironically better than the current version in CTGP. And nothing can change my mind on that. I will always think that this is the better version. Everything just just seems so much more perfect. And look at this. You get a properly function. Okay, well, maybe not always properly functioning ramp. But it works. It does the job. That's what matters. As long as it does the job, that is... Oh, okay. I think this is the proper way to do this. Uh, that fib is looking like trouble. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm going to be have to worry. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that TC. Now, I think this should be a good angle. Yeah, see that? You can take so many more angles to make, take that mushroom section properly. Like, if I was playing the current version of it, I'd have to take one angle all, every single time, and that's all I could do. Like, that's why, that's another reason why this version is just so much better. Okay, I have to be really careful, because, like, right now I'm just, like, screwing around, honestly. But a shroom at first is really good to have. And someone just, dro so just drove off, man. Ah, uh, that's awkward. No. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, I'm just in the wall. Okay, I'm, I'm like playing really badly right now. Oh, but I'm getting rewarded for it. Is someone going to fall off? I'm sorry. I got to throw the red. I got to throw the red. Oh, gosh. Two reds. Another blue in the air. Come on, baby. I can still take this race home. Oh, rip him, dude. Uh-oh. This is fine. Oh, no, you don't, buddy. Who the heck is this? Oh, sorry, bro. It's okay. Take it up third. Nice. Okay, not first place. Now, are we actually going to maintain? Is that going to be a plus VR still? Is that actually going to be a plus VR? That is what I'm very curious about. Only one way to find out. Just got to wait for everyone to finish off. And that is going to be, wow, plus eight. Nine six nine six. Yeah, that's comical. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, that's pretty comical. That's pretty comical if in all honesty. But hey, I will admit that is just the better version of Kanoko Cave and nothing will change my mind on that. All right. Well, this track I will definitely understand if no one in the comment section knows, but I will tell you. Oh, wait a minute. No, is this what I think it is? Oh gosh, it is. Okay, so this is a track called Stone Route. In 1.02, this was a very boring track with not much to offer. In the beginning of 1.03, it had a two times speed mod. Oh goodness, I'm just way out here. I don't remember what works and what doesn't, but I just have the gold in there because this is just way too much speed to control. It's like this, like this very quickly got updated, if I remember correctly. All right, that actually counted. I was so concerned that wasn't going to count. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're avoiding that. <laughs> this track is honestly just an adventure to play. Nah, I thought I could dodge that. Whoa. There's a respawn cut here. Oh, okay, I got to remember that I have to wait a little bit to charge my mini, charge standstill mini turbos. I don't know what is happening. This is just insanity right now. I'm getting a box and you know what that works. That, that's a fine item to pull. It's a fine item to pull. I'd rather get that than something else. Perfect. Okay, I don't I'm just gonna use this here, honestly. 
Oh, that actually, what? They actually shocked there. Nice, got a snipe. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh gosh. I need to slow down to gain control of my vehicle, dude. This is insane. I just don't, this is such a, this is such a crazy track. It's just too fast, signal. Oh yeah, that's actually signal. The other person who I thought was signal earlier is not signal. So that is a correction on my end. Another blue shell, oh my gosh. Wait, who's even in first? I think I can use one shroom for that cut. Oh, that super mini table just carried me all the way through it. But I don't know what to do with this last shroom. Well, I guess that kind of answers my question. Now, am I going to get a good item from this? I am not getting a good item for this. But it doesn't matter because everyone's losing control anyway. Oh, gosh. This track is just way too crazy. I, I don't know how many times I have to say it, but it's true. This is just such a crazy track, man. Philip had a star. How am I in third? That's what I want to know. Is someone already done? Oh, Philip! I don't know what happened to him, but I'm fine taking second right now. Well, on one condition. It doesn't look like there's enough time for it. Ah, uh, he dodged. Wait. How is Phil oh, Wait, I don't think Philip got a lap count, actually. Wait, I got first? Oh! There's a position bug on that. So Philip must not have gotten a lap count. And because of that, I was just in first the entire time with no co no contest. What? That's actually, wow. That's actually amazing. <laughs> wow, what am I getting? Plus 70, 97, 66. Oh my, that was insane. That race was this is way too crazy, dude. But that was definitely a lot of fun. Oh, all right. So what we're going to do, we're going to do two more races in here because that's all I have time for, honestly. And we're going to see just how high we can climb if we can keep climbing. All right, so this track is called Jungle Island, and this is honestly one of the longest tracks in all of CTGP, but there is one more fun fact about it. Okay, well, besides missing an item box easily, that's not the fun fact. The fun fact is, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, this is the custom track with the most cannons out of any custom track ever made. And honestly, another problem with it is I don't really know how to snake it, because I think that this is my first time driving a cart on it. Okay, I just cannot get an item box for some reason. And Luna, I'm not gonna try to pass him. I'm just gonna do my own thing here. Oh, wow, oh, wow, okay, all right. Seems like people are a little bit more familiar with this track, which is good, because then we're gonna have a, what? Why was that used? I mean, not like it matters. We're only like 45 seconds into like what's probably going to end up being at least a four minute race. Yes, you heard me right. A four minute race. That is how long this track is. Like the best known time on this track was like three and three minutes, like 45 seconds or something like that. Something insane like that. So average races on here take like four and a half minutes. And as crazy as that sounds, you don't really have a lot of time to just, you know, sit peacefully and drive around because there's always something to worry about. Now about this cannon, you want to be going over far to the left. That way, when you get out of this cannon, you're landing further to the right and not getting hit by that guy's shells. Now I'm in, I guess I'm in eighth. Okay. Okay, I actually didn't think I was going to make that. So that's, that's actually a pretty difficult ending section, if I'm being honest with you. I, that's understandably difficult. Now... A golden and fifth is really good besides the fact that I have it in this section of the track because this is just a lot of boost panels. Now, I think me snaking here is probably not worth it. Yeah, I don't think snaking there was worth it at all. Like all you can really manage there is a single mini turbo. Now, I just gotta think about where I gotta use this golden. I think I'm just gonna use it here to get it out of the way because that way I can break away from the mid spotsy a little bit more. And I should be able to chain an item here. 
Dang, I'm hearing parts of my BRSTM I've never heard before right now. That's how long this track is. Like, this is supposed to go over Peach Beach, and it's just, like, playing over this incredibly long track, and I'm really hoping Luna... Don't even think about it, Luna. All right, outlined Luna, nothing new. Just like I do in CTL all the time, you know, because, you know, that's, that's, that's just how it is. Uh, that just set me really wide, and I think Luna's going to pass me off of that. I can make this still, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, the question is, what spot am I actually in? I think I'm in fourth. Oh, can I get a 10th placer? Oh, that would have been funny. A red shell ain't bad, but it ain't what I want. Okay, looks like Luna's going over to that side, so I can just go here and avoid any backspam. Looks like he's not going to opt to backspam anyway. No. Bad. I would try a really risky ending shortcut, but I just don't think it's worth it. Oh, that was kind of cool, not going to lie. I'm just going to chain this here. So even if I get a Thundercloud, it's just not going to affect me. Now, hopefully someone's nice enough to dodge me in cannon, right? 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 Aw. I had way too... What? Did someone just fall off after the... Did someone fall off? How do you fall off? You just drive straight. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Whatever. Oh, we're, I, just, I just looked at the time. We're three and a half minutes in. I'm, like, barely paying attention. Oh! That was aggressive swigs. I don't know if that was needed. Wow. But you know what? This is needed because I want my VR. And I just feel satisfied doing it anyway. Let's go. All right. Now dodge me, question mark. Can we get a dodge? Can we get a dodge? Doesn't look like it. Eh, that's our... What? Why are we dodging the Magic Cruiser? What's that, dude? What is that? That's kind of... That's kind of cringe. I understand dodging a Carter, but dodging a Magic Cruiser, what do you get out of that? And dodging Step Baby? Like, bro, are you for real right now? Eh, oh well. You know what? That is okay. Fourth place is still a pretty... Oh! Those bananas were really scary. And I think... Oh, no one's taking this type box. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to do quite some magic here if I want to gain any spots with this item. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Gonna see if I can get anything out of it. Spoiler alert, probably not. Oh, we got one! Wait, no! No! Oh, no! We lost it all! No! Oh my gosh. Well, that's sixth place. That's just, uh... Yeah, that's kind of funny, not gonna lie. How much are we losing? 98. All right, we're still down to 96.68. That's perfectly fine by me. Now, now honestly, this is a really good, this is a really good spot. But I'm still going to do one more race just because I'm really enjoying myself in this room right now. So let's see what one more race can bring us up to. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're ending on another really old track. So this track has been in C well was in ctgp for quite a long time if i remember correctly this was in ctgp ever since version 1.00 and if that's wrong someone can correct me in the comments but the chances of anyone in the comment section knowing anything about that is next to none but hey am i complaining about that nah this is just my chance to educate you guys on you know custom track culture wait a minute okay for a second i thought i didn't get a lap count that would have been very annoying to deal with. Oh yeah, and the, the one really weird thing about this track is that everything's like off put so hard. Yeah, you, ju you just noticed that I just got a lap count from like, well, it was pretty much the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'm sorry, I've, I've got to do this to you. Uh, are you going to get hit by that? Oh God. Okay. Now, I think this track is one that people are going to be able to figure out a lot easier than the other ones. So catch people here might actually prove to be a challenge. Am I going to be wrong? Well, that's another type of only one way to find out question. But it looks like right now we're actually going to be managing to keep ourselves in some of the top spots. Oh gosh, that green. I think I should be able to get three mini turbos here. Did he just dive off to avoid getting blued? Oh, what a gamer. Honestly, I'm just going to shroom here. That should be a good pal for me, but hey. The red. Whoa! What? Okay, I've never seen that before. That's actually the first time I've seen that happen. Wow, that's so cool. 
Oh gosh, All right, this isn't looking like a very good spot to end on, but that's okay. Wait, uh, am I gonna be able to get seventh maybe? Nah, looks like I'm taking eighth on this one. You know what, that's all right. I think that's gonna be losing a little bit of VR in the end, but I think we should still be higher than where we started. Minus 136 brings us down to 95.32. You know what? I'm fine ending off in that spot. Even though we made quite a tear and made it all the way up to where we did, I think ending at 9.5 is really satisfying, especially considering how much we were just tearing up this room. So I think that's gonna be all I have for this session. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Cart Road and Nines. I hope you enjoyed the twist of playing on an older version, on all these older tracks. Sorry, I gotta keep remembering. But as I said in the beginning of the video, if you are interested in playing this pack and want to find Roadwise, I will be linking the Discord server below in the description along with the wiki page if you want to check out everything you need to know about this pack. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Next time, I'll probably be playing on regular tracks and see what type of climbs we can make. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.